Hey, what is up, guys? This is your boy HP Gaming. Well, if you're new to this channel, guys, I would like you to kill murder and smash that little subscribe button and also ring that bell notification so that whenever I drop a brand new video, it's you who's gonna get notified, okay? So, in this video, guys, without any further ado, let's get started. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna transfer the whole Fortnite game, which is over 30 gigabytes, okay? How we're gonna transfer it from one PC to another PC, okay? so yeah let's do that and make sure that you have inserted your usb pen drive or usb drive into a usb 3.0 port because this is gonna go a lot faster okay and also why doing this so this uh this is gonna save you time and then it's gonna save you your internet bandwidth okay uh which means you do not need to download the whole fortnite game which is apparently over 32 gigabytes okay so now to locate fortnite so basically fortnite by default it is installed in your c drive local dc program files epic games and then fortnite okay so let's do that local dc all right program files epic games and then fortnite now if you uh right click and do properties on this fortnite folder and as you can see the size okay um 30 gigabytes all right so what you need to do is to right click copy and go to your usb pen drive or whatever external hard drive that you're using and hit paste all right guys so as you can see i'm on to my another pc which has windows 11 and right now i'm going to show you how you're gonna transfer that so as you can see the fortnite folder here so if i do this as you can see it is in here okay next i'm gonna open another windows explorer and i'm gonna go to local dc okay program files and in here i'm gonna create a new folder okay show more options new folder and i'm gonna call this as epic games okay and then inside the folder epic games i'm gonna transfer this fortnite here okay hit continue and as you can see it's gonna start copying okay and in in the meanwhile um in the meanwhile this is copying we're gonna head back to um epicgames.com and we're gonna select download all right Alright, so as soon as it finishes copying, what we need to do, we're gonna rename this folder. Okay, show more options, rename, and we're gonna add space old. Okay, Fortnite old. We're gonna make it like this. And the next step, what we need to do is to sign in into our Epic accounts. Okay. Okay, so as soon as we do we do that, okay, so you're gonna yeah, hit continue to close as you can see success now you can close this window all right so what we need to do is we're gonna go to our local dc program files epic games and then this location okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna copy this location okay copy it all right now what and there's security code all right all right so let it load so now to get fortnite all you are used to use is search and you search fortnite here all right so i believe okay here and it is if you don't have it in your library but i have already so i click here to go to my library and i'm gonna click install okay 
once I hit install here in this location, I'm gonna erase this and I'm gonna paste. Okay, next I hit install, hit yes, and as you can see, beginning to install. Just wait, and you can find it into your downloads. Okay, as you can see, and just hit cancel. Okay, just hit pause and then cancel. All right. Next, what you need to do is to go back to the location over there, Prom files, Epic Games, and then just delete this, the new Fortnite folder. Right click, delete, and then just rename the Fortnite all to Fortnite. Okay, hit continue. All right, and now go back to um, Epic Games, go into um, your library and on Fortnite right here click resume all right hit yes if prompted hit yes and as you can see guys it's gonna start verifying okay it's gonna take uh probably one or two minutes okay so this is going really fast okay and as soon as it starts verifying the verifying finish uh you're good to go all right so just wait for it and as you can see guys we've got fortnite here as you can see if you want to launch fortnite you can click here and it's gonna launch fortnite first it's gonna launch easy anti-cheat okay this is gonna check if you have any cheat okay cheat engine or whatever that you're using to that you're trying to use to get a bot okay so if it detects uh the cheat and it's gonna block you okay so as you can see right here it is yep it is good to go we are good to go guys as you can see voila this is how we do it and it saved me time okay so to copy from my old pc it took about 20 minutes and then to from my newer pc to copy it took about four minutes okay so in 25 minutes i've got fortnite all right so here would you like yes confirm all right so here we go guys all right so yeah boys thanks for watching and leave me a comment down this if this works for you or not okay please like this video share subscribe and leave me a comment all right it's your boy yashvia gaming signing out peace